Hey there, this is James Wells with MTV Strength Training Systems and BikeJames.com. And today I want to share a great combo drill that will really help build your just leg strength, core strength, kind of work on your cardio, your ability to, to stay relaxed under tension, just a lot of things that we need on the trail. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine a kettlebell or dumbbell front squat with a rack walk. So we're going to start out doing some squats and then after we've done our squats, we're going to keep the, the weights in position and we're going to do some walking with it. So I'll show you how this looks. I'm going to show you first with a couple of dumbbells. Uh, I've got two 20 pounders here. I'd probably use a little bit more weight than this. Uh, you know, you want to go relatively heavy. You want this to challenge you, you know, maybe go a little lighter at first when you're learning it. But what you want to do is you want to get the dumbbells up to your rack position. So I've got this set, shoulders pulled down and back. So I'm going to do a front squat first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my heels on the ground. I'm going to sit my butt straight down, keep my chest puffed out, and I'm going to try to touch the pointy part of my elbows right on this meaty part of the inside of my knees. And I'm going to push through my heels, squeeze my butt cheeks nice and tall and thin at the top. Getting down, pointy part to meaty part, push through the heels, squeeze the butt cheeks tall and thin at the top. Again, show you from the side. Coming down and back up. Again, trying to keep good posture, sitting straight down, keeping your shoulders pulled back and then back up. So I like to do anywhere from like five to eight reps. And then when you're done, hold the weights in this position and simply walk. So you can walk a lap, you can walk a figure eight, however you want to do it. But you're just going to walk until it starts to get real hard to hold those weights in place. And then you're going to bring them down. So again, with the rack walk, you want to make sure you're keeping your shoulders pulled back and down. As soon as you start to feel your shoulders creeping up and you're starting to lose that good posture, then that's when you want to stop. Even though you could probably gut out you know, a little bit more with that bad posture, we don't want to be reinforcing that. So again, you know, anywhere from five to eight reps with uh, a couple of you know, moderately heavy dumbbells or kettlebells and then walking a bit again, It'll become pretty evident quickly. You're not going to be able to walk real far before it starts to get hard. You've already kind of gotten yourself tired from the squat. And now that you're having to hold that posture and walk with it, it's really going to make that core strength and that postural strength, you know, work even harder, which is again, really important for us on the bike. That's what starts to fail us at the end of rides. We start to lose our posture when we do that. We're going to not be breathing less efficiently. We're going to be moving less efficiently. And so again, when we need it the most, when we need to be working our most efficient, because metabolically we're towards the end of what we have, you know, we start to break down posturally and it makes things even worse. So this, uh, this little combo drill right here will really work on the specifics of being able to maintain that, that postural strength uh, as you get tired and, and be able to breathe under pressure. So anyway, so that does it for this tip. Definitely give this a shot next time you work out. Once again, this has uh, been James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems. You can check me out on the web at bikejames.com and I'll uh, talk to you next time.